2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? We'll have all the action for you next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. He's in here. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Messi! It could be up for grabs. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Presnel Kimpembe in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. Well, it's impossible to have Lionel Messi in the starting lineup and not talk about what he does so well. Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And he has options available. Di Maria. Well, no real accuracy. And easy for the keeper. Benzema. Benzema. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Romero over the touchline for what will be a France throw perfect tackle promising move this from France a fine reading of the situation Paul Pogba and a tidy challenge and Messi in full control of the ball here and he's made headway and a goal to open the scoring no wonder they're celebrating well this is Really poor defensively. Just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the match begins. So back underway here into the second half. Really getting stuck in. Messi. It should be. And begging to be put away. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation.
Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Well, Kimpembe was on top of it. Martinez. He's played his over to the near post. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of... Oh, movement. they could be in here, Stuart. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Griezmann. France moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Griezmann. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. They take it short. Can he convert? Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Lionel Messi. And Lionel Messi has turned... And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Three goals without reply. Can he find the net? And that's a straightforward stop. We're inside the final 15 minutes. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Messi in the vicinity. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, threat over for now. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Great opportunity. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now. And he's in. Surely. Oh, there it is. It's one goal after another. And it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Messi. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Really getting stuck in. Teammates available. Messi. Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But hang on. Offside is the decision here. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And Golo Conte. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.